We were recently asked by a nutritionist to attend an event she was putting on and take some photos of her food to use in a recipe book. So I'm just going to show you how we design some of the pages and some of the things that you need to consider when you're designing something like this. So before we even get to the computer, you've got to take the photos. When you're taking photos of products, you need a number of things. You need a good camera, so in this case we're using a Canon 5D Mark III. You need good lighting, so we use a three-point lighting system with LED lights. You need a good area to take the photos, so we used a table because it had a good backdrop with the wood. And you also need good food, obviously. And we did test the food before to make sure it was good, and I can assure you it was very nice. Once you've taken the photos, you don't put them straight into InDesign. You need to edit them in Photoshop first. So if you take the photos on Camera Raw, and then import them into Photoshop. In Photoshop CC, there's an option to edit the photos before you even put it into Photoshop. So you can adjust the levels and the saturation and the highlights and shadows and just make sure that the colors really stand out and it's a nice crisp image. So once you've edited the photos, we can now go into InDesign. We use the rule of thirds, making the image nice and big two thirds and the recipe one third. The reason we did this because the image is really what's going to sell it. You can't help but look at that and think, I want to try some of that. So it's a nice big image. And then on the right, we've got the recipe. The recipe is not very big, so it, one third is enough space for it. Then we've got the heading in the top left, nice big again. So you're looking through, if you're flipping through a book, you see the heading, you clearly know what it is. We've got the details next to it and the branding on the bottom. And then the text on the side. Now, the client's target audience is over 40s, so we wanted to make it easy to read and we chose to use a serif font because that's more of a traditional font and it's, it kind of has a sense of authority about it as well. So we also increased the line height and the leading again to make it easier to read and it just looks a bit cleaner. The colours we've sampled from the image itself, so I just use the colour picker to pick a colour from the image. In this case, we've got the nice orange and brown. So once we've got the layout and the design and we're happy with it, we then use this template for all the other recipes. The only real thing we changed is the colours. So again, using the colour picker to sample a colour from the image. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned some tips on designing a recipe page. And don't forget, you can follow us on social media and also subscribe at creativeastro.tv for more tips. See you in the next video.